boat. Uh, why is it leading me in this direction? If the boat is in that direction. Huh. Mm, whatever. We're going to the boat. Oh, that is the right direction. Okay. Never mind. Book reference is incoming. Good. Ooh. Chilly breeze incoming. Oh, am I about to... Am I about to die to gravity here? <laughs> okay. Let's run down this way. Maybe I know now why it was trying to lead me that direction. Oh my god, here we go. Rip. <laughs> I didn't know G-Baby was into extreme sports. That's awesome. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do the rest of the hill. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, crud. Why did it have to end? Why did it have to end? Hey, I found another altar. This one seems slightly less impressive than the previous one. I surfed my way down, man. I got it, Eagles. Red kill. I hope Red kill doesn't mind. I'm stealing their boat. <laughs> Shame. Okay, it's not the only boat the town has. Okay. Cool. Fine. They got another boat. We good to take it then. As long as the popos don't come after me, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> it's no altar, it's a dragon wood wall. Wrong game. I know that. Can I sprint in the boat? Oh my god, I can sprint in the boat. It splashes up a little when I sprint, but I can sprint. Very nice. Is this a baby island before the big island? That boat started off right quick. I mean, there's a there's a gusty wind speeding us across this body of water. We're getting help. Don't worry. I'm checking this little island out. I'm checking this out. Stop right there. Stop the boat. <laughs> wow. That was risky. That was a risky dive. But, as I was saying, extreme sports. Nothing is too extreme for G-Baby. Not even diving into a rock. We good. Wow. Look at this place. Okay. That's pretty grim. Someone was hanged here. Oh my god, it's a wall of text. <sighs> Five weeks have passed now since I was hired by that Prince Valguzgulov of the far-off land to help guide his family to safety to Beauclair. At first, I merely suspected it, but now I'm certain our ship is being followed. We've charted a course for shore. The captain wants to replenish supplies in a small village called Urston and then sail up the Pontar. The masts of the ship which sails after us are constantly visible on the horizon. New clickbait? New clickbait story story time now! I mean, it is that long. It is that long. The worst is upon us, we shall drown. The shore was within our reach when a horrible wind blew us back. The gale tossed our ship against the rocks. We're taken on water. The yard fell and crushed my legs. I don't know what will come to pass now. I've failed them, have failed their heirs to the royal dynasty whom I was charged to escort safely to Beauclair. The sealed letters were in the chest, which the sailors tossed overboard when the ship began to sink. If they ever wash ashore, if anyone ever finds them, and this journal, I know... No, oh, no, not I know. Know that they need to be given to a woman answering to the name Vicky. She does not know the local tongue, but if you read the words, Vidhog la trut alame hoer, she will know what to do. I hope she has survived. Luckily... She and the child sail safely in another ship. The elder insisted we travel separately. He was right. I don't know who chases us. I only know that I shall die soon. <laughs> Ivan, I, I don't think so, man. That is a little too far, even for me. Ivan suggested I might make the title Worst Game Ever Played. Let people that say... Uh, say it isn't. What? Uh, let people say you are wrong. Dude, I will get so much hate if I put that in the title. Crushed legs. 
Let's Even the frames hate lore. Yes. This is the guy who wrote the journal. Let's let's start the campfire up. Keep his body warm a little bit. There we go. Let's do it. Strange crest. Not northern. Not north <laughs> That's a zebra. <laughs> uh. Should I make the title Resident Sleeper? Reading books, Resident Sleeper. Oh, are you actually going, Ivan? Are you out of here? If so, good night. So I want to find, I want to find that that missing treasure or whatever. Where do you guys think it is? If I had a venture, I guess I'd say it'll probably be on this side. Maybe I don't know. That's Red Gill. That's not the town. Druid's camp. Huh. Strange. Oh, oh, oh. Empty bottle and twine. Okay, we're done. Yeah, this music's beautiful, by the way. Oh, I see something. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Dive down. This might be it. Letter sealed with impermeable wax. Captain's log. This is the this is the song that Rato keeps asking for. Fields of Odd Skellige. I know this song. I didn't want to track it. Oh, it's... Oh, my God. I'm not going back to Red Kill now. You did call it Kiak. Well done. Well done. Everyone told me the music's great here, Eagles. Look at that dive. I am so graceful. Okay, so I got I got the stuff, but let's just read the journal, the the captain's log quickly. Oh God! Right in the resident sleeper. <sighs> captain's log for the Amuanda. Day sixty nine. Elinud. Hatred has set in. For the guide and the foreign royal family he was hired to escort. I should never agree to give them passage. They've meant endless trouble from the moment we pulled out of Val. All indications are that plenty more awaits ahead. It's a boring song, you say, Zidana? I don't know, man. I think it's pretty nice. Where were we? The foreign royal's bizarre behavior does nothing to help. The crew calls them barbarians behind their backs and mutters about the expedition being cursed the guide said he will uh, he's been hired to take them to Beauclair perhaps such a strange customs will accord with those at Anna Henrietta's court but first we must reach the continent safely yet ever since we lost sight of our sister's ship I've had a bad feeling about our chances of doing so day 73 that's four days later I might have known there would be trouble when the guide explained these royals were fleeing a coup that knocked them off their throne on their home island. I hear women speak to the child in that strange tongue of theirs. She spits out words whose very sound is so filled with hatred and contempt. I need not guess at their exact meaning. For they are sure to be curses aimed at the usurper. She scans the horizon constantly, the dread plan on her face. No doubt, fearing assassins have been sent after day 78. My worries have been confirmed. Our passengers will be our doom. The ship will soon sink. May our gods and theirs watch over us. Do I want a PSD of Lou Yennefer? Absolutely, yes. That would be great, Kiak. Pretty nice for putting you to sleep. I mean, sure, that's, music doesn't all have to be exciting. Okay. Onward. We're done with our little... Uh, wow, this is slow. Oh my god. Our little expedition on this island. Let's proceed. I'm, I'm tracking the wrong quest now. She's right there. She's got her own boat as well. The shield. 
What up? Thanks for following. Welcome to the channel. And welcome to Skellige. Oh, 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 what's that sound? Oh my god, I just missed it. What was that there? Was that a whale? Why did it like roar or something? Am I about to die? Quick save, quickly. Damn. I kind of missed it. I was like flicking the camera around too much. And I probably dropped frames right at the time that the tail was there. You listen to Kara Morin? Before bed. I don't think I can fight it, Kiak. Much as I'd like to, I don't think I can fight it. Oh, 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 what's that? What are those? What are those? Let's steer clear of those. Those look bad. It's like wind snakes or something. Oh, get off the boat! Stop! Get off the boat! You- Why? You- She took a piece of it with her! You joke? Oh my god, no! I, I can't fight underwater, can I? Get up, get up, get up. Stop. Crossbow. Grape shot. Oh. <laughs> okay, crossbow. Crossbow. I think I might be overdoing it with that. She's gonna pop up right here right now. I'm ready for... God, this boat's not gonna last. <laughs> oh, man. Making me look like a real fool here. Come back. Come, 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 come. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. 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 I don't know what you expected. I do not know what you expected. I'm Geralt of Rivia. Ah, uh, that stench. <sighs> Damn. Stream drop in frames. Julie McCann, thank you. I'll check it out in just a moment. One second. Jafar, I can kill him with a crossbow? I did. I did. No, it's not just you, Julian. It's not just you. Is this boat dead? Why am I going backwards? There we go. Awesome. I'm just going to go straight for shore now because I don't want to die. Sprint. Go faster. Boat was going in reverse. Boats can do that, man. Oh, I can't kill them with diving. Is that what you're saying? Ooh. The hell is this? There's a lot of them, and they're kind of high level. I just gotta keep going. I don't want to die here. It's not worth it. That's Yen's boat. Is that her standing there? Let's just beach this baby. I don't even care. <laughs> uh, my bad boat. My bad. You just chill right there. That's her. That's Yen. Guys, let's creep around for a little bit before we speak to her. Uh, wolves attacking. What? Oh, he said I can kill them if I'm diving while using the crossbow. Oh my god. Okay. Got it. Got it. Igni. White wolves! Is this an omen of some sort? I'm the white wolf. And there are white wolves here. You guys get it, right? Fancy moves. Very spinny. I like it. I'll take it. Awesome. She totally didn't see me. <laughs> uh. nah. I'm going to sneak up behind her. I can walk, right? Let's just stride up behind her. I'm not going to explain it. Sorry. Let's go. Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set <laughs> Oh. You take that sass and you put it in your pocket. 
<laughs> what do I even? Wow. What do I even say? Had a matter to tend to. A matter that brooked no delay, I presume. What was it? A NECA contract? Something like that. Can we go? <laughs> Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. God! She's one big sess. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. I like her voice. Alex, I actually read about that Halloween sale. I'll wait for it. Her accent's nice, yes. Her voice, her accent, it's actually nice. I missed it. We've been hearing so much American from Triss. Now we hear this and... Oh! You know? I... <laughs> Kaldrath. Kaldrath, no jokes. I did keep her waiting for quite some time. Let's go in. <laughs> mm. You guys like her, Sess? <laughs> Tao Jazz pause, what's up? Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. <laughs> wow! Sisters, pardon the interruption. But we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. Uh, they say the wild hunt destroyed your village. They say the <clears throat> wild hunt destroyed this village. <laughs> that is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses, wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper, only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Maybe I should do the talking. Go on. I ran out to get help, to get Leif. But so many bodies. Yole, Ingvar, little Neki. Which way did the riders go? <laughs> Toward the sea, <laughs> through the ravine, on horses oh. made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough. Get to the point. No. Okay. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many. I may have forgotten. This, this Siri. Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. <laughs> <laughs> so casually curses the guy in the stable. Wow. What's wrong with Yennefer's hair? I don't know. Ask hair works. Oh! <laughs> Oh, thank you, Yiggles. I see now what you're doing. You're defending my haircut choice. You're a good guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. Guys, the haircut's not so bad. Okay, maybe I'll change it the next time we get to a hairdresser, but it's not so bad. <laughs> I, I thought you were being serious. I didn't see the cat because it was in, this, in the next line. Remember anything else? <laughs> Only that she seemed tired, very tired, and and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska Craven. My apologies, Craven. Craven could have told you more. Could have. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors, 
It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. <sighs> to the garden to fight Morkvag. What? What the hell are they even talking about right now? It's the worst haircut in video game history. Oh my god. That's a little harsh, Alex. That's a little harsh. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvog. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very scary girl. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Morkvog. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. <laughs> I'm not here to work. I can do it. Of course I can do it. I can get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvark and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Uh, yeah, my videos on YouTube are quite far behind. And additionally, we are pretty far into the game. But I mean, I feel like Nero Hot, you don't really need to know everything that's happened to enjoy the game. Like, sure, if you don't want spoilers or whatever, if you want to see it from the start first, then I guess, like, it, it makes sense to not watch, but, eh. You can just watch the VODs later, or, or catch up later, or whatever. I feel like the game is just entertaining no matter when you watch it. Same for playing. Like, I can just stop this main quest right now, go do any side quest, and it's damn fun. Okay, where's the Holy Garden? Where is this Holy Garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. <laughs> oh, she's not going to make a blood sacrifice. Winds howling. Is that so? Winds howling. Are we just following her right now? Is that a thing? Oh, uh, we can run. Okay. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? Ooh. You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Oh! Come on! Isn't it a bit soon in our relationship for I love yous? What is the- Oh god! Uh, Axie, right? You did- Shit! 
Here we go. I was actually looking for... Uh, Irden. <laughs> That's the wrong one, but whatever. Okay. Speak Rug Longsword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's cool. Got a bunch of stuff here. I'll take it, I'll take it. Awesome, awesome. What about, wait, what about these guys? Nope. Soon they've been together 20 years. Whatever, man. 20 years. <laughs> There's been lots of I love yous before now. Really? Like lots, lots? Like lots, lots. Like lots, lots. What? Is he just like really loose with his I love yous? Why'd she stop? What up, Yen? Oh, was I going the wrong way? Which way now? God, you know, she's so picky. Freya's garden. My, my. That must be more Karg. Quite the appetite. What? A bite. Just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. Uh, uh, food. Uh, food. Uh. My God. <laughs> Shank. Not. Not again. Not again. What? <laughs> Is he turning into a human? What's going on? No, he's not turning into a human. Why is he making all those funny sounds? He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. Oh, you're saying not again at us. So, where shall we Ooh, start? This is Let's beautiful. Go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily. But Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Oh, she can sprint. Good girl. Is this the tree right here? Okay. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Blood stains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why you should stay up here. No offense. Inhumanly you beautiful. In mud, you'd be like a ball and chain. Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine, we'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? Please, I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen. Look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown. How to sell Cam Morin out from under you. Wind's oh, howling. Already. <laughs> that face we see isn't actually your face? What are you talking about? Craven's blood. Flowing profusely. Trails clear. Should lead me to him. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. I mean, I kind of, kind of know why. Oh, he did go down here. Oh, this is just a regular old wolf. Oh. Okay. Not quite what I was expecting. She has dialogue now? Yen is 99 years old in this game. God damn. And, and G-Baby, how old is he again? Well, what is it? What do you know about this garden? Let me think. That it's dreadfully overgrown? Had its history in mind. They say Freya herself planted it. When the world was young, the goddess strode across Skellige. Sowing seeds among the rocks. But Erberos the snake bit a hole in her basket. All her seeds poured from it and landed here. Thus, this garden is bounteous while the rest of Skellige is barren. You believe that? Is that a serious question? 
Of course not. Favorable microclimate for plant life. End of story. Sass. He's, he's just 15. <laughs> uh, just Evgen, Suni, and Skiff. Thanks for following. Welcome. To transform into a werewolf. It's a dog's life, huh? Well, there's not a youth out there who doesn't have a wolf in his belly. Then wow. the curse can find him to this garden. Couldn't really cut his wolf loose. No question he was top dog here. <laughs> Just wolfing things down. Or not. Harold, that's enough. Hmm? Fine. Still had a few good ones at the tip of my tongue. I'm sure you did. We'll say you won. Oh my god. Oh no! Alright. Why would you do that? Down. Zidana. Be careful. Why would you do that, Zidana? Why would you do that? Zidana just said, remember Melisandre from Game of Thrones? Now look at the end. Don't do that. Oh, God. Why would you do that? Oh, my God. Oh. Why would you do that? That's terrible. No, she's like G-Baby. So she actually aged gracefully. She's not transformed into a prettier, younger thing. Oh, what is this? No bite marks. Morkvark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Raven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. I don't want to chat. Really dulled. I don't want to chat. God, shouting at me. Monster tracks, running, chasing something. This is why the crones are a better romance option than Yin. At least they're truthful about their appearance. Are you being for reals here? Are you just- are you being for reals? Because I don't know if I'm- if I'm supposed to be trusting what you're saying. Why are her senses dulled? Because she's an old lady! Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. Oh, I oh my god, I can't use Igni. These wolves are relentless. Come on, come on. Die. Craven's blood. Guess I'm gonna have to find out. I would. Oh man, you know, I'd be okay if I didn't find out, actually, now that I think of it. That'd be cool. That'd be fine. James Adonis is a chili of her inhuman beauty. <laughs> Still, that does kind of ruin things. I'm leaning towards Team Triss now. Thanks. Craven's blood. Tracks are still leading in this direction. We good. Craven was injured. Started running. Okay. Door won't budge. <laughs> must have blocked it. Just locked. The inside that counts. <sighs> but I did romance. Wait. Did I romance Triss? God, now I'm feeling old. I don't think I remember romance in Triss. I remember romance in Yen. We had the unicorn or something. Or whatever. We had the horse or something. Uh, but I don't remember romance in. Tris. Did we romance Triss? Guys. Guys, did we romance Triss? Could someone with such a quick wit and great puns look so... What? Be old? Look old. I mean, you know, she's a good looking lady for sure, but if someone's saying that that's magic... I haven't romanced anyone yet? What? Well, I mean, I mean, I, I've, I've lain with her. 
We were, we were together. We were as one. Were we not? Were we not? Kira doesn't count. No, 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 you missed the yen then. Gastrically stretched, you missed the yen. I've been to Skellige before. Come on, man. Oh, is Triss also old? You hope I go with my gut instincts. Yeah, don't worry, I will. Why is it trying to lead me around this way? I do not understand. Is there something down here? Ah, I see. Okay. Got it. New marker, entrance. Markvark doesn't give up easily. What it is, Locke? Markvark doesn't give up easily. Okay, I gotta go around that way now. Or what? And since Yen has dollar senses, it's easier to sneak cookies past her. Sex doesn't equal romance. Kisses doesn't mean romance. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. God. Damn, dudes. Oh, it's a wolf. Okay. Cool, no problem. Wolf has died. That's the true true. Wolf has, in fact, died. Another corpse. No bite marks here either. Did I kiss Triss? I don't remember. God, if I did, it wasn't very special. I guess that's saying something, at least. That alone. Here's something here. What is this? Let me just take the stupid plant. It's in the way. Where's this leading? Huh? Over this way? Only Triss and Yen count as romances, the others don't, ma well, don't matter at all. His lair must be nearby. <clears throat> don't worry, you slept with Triss plenty in the other games you didn't play. That doesn't count. That wasn't me. Come on. There's a ladder here. Okay. Interesting. Romance equals saying I love you in dialogue. Okay. Okay, I mean that's very specific, but alright. Climb, G baby. Yeah, I mean I feel like it doesn't count if it was in the other games. So I'll just go with that. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Uh, can't cross what? Really? Man, you know, a younger G-Baby would have just jumped across. He would have leapt across that ravine in, like, man. A split second. What about the cave up there? Hold up. This is hidden in here. Key. Ramond. Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate. But the key. Where's the key? What the hell, man? I'm so silent. Ramond. You fake. Wow. You rogue. I will find the key without you. Idiot. Stupid prick. This guy's angry and gnarly. Hide your stench. I'm running away. I don't want to fight him yet. I don't want to fight him yet.
Uh, was that the correct thing to do? Team Morkvog? No. 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 Good dive. A very good dive. Is this where I want to be? I'm feeling a little lost right now. Oh wait, here we go. This is the one. Ah! Does the bridge come across here? Jump into the water from up there. Don't worry. That's where I need to go. Am I the key master? I'll find out soon enough. It's probably going to send me in the cave anyway, yes. Oh, something happened in here. Morkvark broke through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. But it looks like it was broken from the outside. Uh, from the inside Some out, affair. sorry. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Morkvark doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Untouched? Dude, there's like no meat on those bones. What are you even talking about? You are ugly. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. <laughs> yes, I witcher. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's hear it. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Lock me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite uh, brought pain uh, and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. This was more. My mouth burned like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn. Felt I would die. But I, I did it. And then. It grew back. I shredded them. Dashed them to bits. Oh. Made tiny crumbs. On those plowing heroes. Wow. Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. The moral is... You cannot kill me. Cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters. Of course. Free me. Or uh, I'll return uh, to get you uh, again. Very helpful, this guy. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? I don't even get time to draw my sword properly. Spinning attack. What? Is he running away? What's going on? Willing to talk now. Only now can I. Such is the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle. Uh, God, that is gnarly. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. 
Undo, undo the curse. Free me. Herder. <laughs> I will, I will reward you. Looking for Craven. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems it didn't work out. Those who come rarely introduce themselves. What did he look like? No idea. Then I cannot help you. Uh, I've shredded uh, uh, many. Uh, uh. Finish him off. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. <laughs> Raided, drunk most away, all but one. What? True treasure hid away, yours. Just help me. Man, the voice actor who did this must be really good. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst, not the garden to which I'm bound, even, but the hunger, anything I devour returns to ash, ash I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. Shame. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh, hmm. but the smallest morsel burns in my throat like boiling tar. Shame, I'd like to help this guy. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. <sighs> See what I can do. <laughs> See wow. and do, or I shall return. He deserves what happened to him. Yes, but feed him what? What is this option even for? Does this what does this mean? You always leave him there to suffer him for eternity. I want to cure him. Then I can finish him off. Right? Right. But what, what does it mean if I try and feed him here? What, is that, what does that entail? What am I going to feed him? What could he possibly eat? Click it and find out. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay. Wouldn't do anything at the moment. Okay. Okay, fine. Nothing! Is this a mockery? <laughs> Think this a diversion? I catch you again. I'll have reason to laugh. This guy's very mean. And he wants me to help him. Lul. Farewell. See you soon. So what's this key that he was that he was mumbling about? We gotta find whatever the key is, right? Werewolf meat. Okay. I mean I can feed him his own meat. That's gonna suck. That's for sure. Caldrath, you don't know if anyone deserves that. Well, that's what I'm thinking, right? So I'm not gonna... 
I'm not going to leave the curse as it is. I'll try and cure the curse. And, uh, you know, from there, we'll see what happens. Right? Craven's blood. Werewolf jerky. He's a spectral werewolf. Okay, we're going down. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Yeah, yeah. Torch time. I know the bad stuff he did. Okay? And I agree that he deserved punishment, but I would have just killed the guy. I understand as well that this is worse than than dying, and maybe he deserved worse than death. I don't know. Blood. But uh, I I'll lift the curse and then kill him or something like that. I don't, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. What what choices I'm presented with, at least. Well, we're following Craven's blood. So. Oh my God! What is this? Don't tell me this is him. This might be him. Damn dead has been for a while yen found him and and i've seen rot fiends in better condition than this shit fine scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here take it you've got a plan no i just like to stare at rotting flesh we'll talk when you get here all right that's yen charming as ever Come on, someone wants to meet you. Luminous on Ice is gonna side with the MM in Fallout for one day. I don't know what that means, but I don't know, man. He'll chop and slice you cut and dice you eat you uphold. 